All right, going to save Carlito. Hooray? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Yippee, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Oh, well. Welcome to part 15 of the Dead Rising playthrough. Like, the only reason that we have to save Carlito right now is because we need access to his computer, which Isabel does not know the password to. So, Carlito's our one and only chance of remembering that password to get into the laptop. Because mm. apparently that laptop is um uh it's attached to a jamming device and the jamming devices make sure that no freaking radio signals or phone signals get outside the mall that's why the mall right now is so like nobody knows about the zombie apocalypse right now besides the few uh besides the people in the mall and the few military people that are quarantining the site off right now so it's trying to make sure that this incident doesn't get public right now. Mm. So we're trying Clearly, to figure out. They failed. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. This seems pretty public. If the next few games are indications of anything, they failed. <laughs> they failed. Yeah. <laughs> the only well, reason the only part. reason the government knows right now is because they also had a uh, hand in uh, making the zombie apocalypse be a thing. Because like really, they always do. Like they always do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's because um, uh, Santa Cabeza, where Carlito and Isabella are from, well, that was basically used as like a. Uh, uh, scientific uh, experimental grounds because they're trying to mass produce cattle with a new strain of like genetics weird sciencey bullshit you know yeah um, <laughs> weird sciencey bullshit and so there just happened to be an outbreak of the virus turning the people of santa cabeza into zombies and of course the government took no responsibility over that and so carlito is basically no, just getting revenge on the u.s by unleashing that same zombie strain over here in colorado uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, the government doesn't take responsibility for anything. What else is now? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> See, it's all their fault. <laughs> Ready for another 30-second boss? <laughs> yeah, oh boy, my favorite part of the game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he actually hit me. How is that possible? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I think another part of the challenge with that boss fight is that Carlito is on the uh, freaking, um, like, the meat hooks on the conveyor belt, and so he's just being slowly dragged to the meat grinder while he's unconscious. So that's mm -hmm. also another time limit with that boss fight specifically. Man, did I really have to worry about that? Is <laughs> <laughs> time? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that because that's actually the last boss fight in the game. Oh, really? Yep. Oh. <laughs> what a final boss, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man, that one, that one was so so significantly harder than all the other, all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Like he managed to make the the boss fight last a little longer than thirty seconds. Wow. <laughs> he got one clean hit on me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why was your meat so much more important to you than human life? Why? Why did my people have to die to feed your fat bellies? That doesn't excuse what you've done. But I promise, the Santa Cabeza story will be... That output is not doing Frank any favors. <laughs> Please take me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you an apple if you give me the uh, you give me the code. Hey, aren't zombies great? No. No. I mean, all they do is eat and 
eat and eat, growing in number, just like you good red, white, and blue Americans. <coughs> no, that's just um, that's just queso. Just the upper <laughs> upper <class. laughs> There's a dead rising two, three, and four. <laughs> Nothing is over. Nothing. I'm sorry, Isabella. Oh, there was going to be a dead rising five at one point. I mean, they can do whatever. Oh, <laughs> I will I will note that it has been eight years since Dead Rising Four. Uh so uh, <laughs> uh yeah. Just throw that right. out there. <laughs> Development, so uh, we'll never see it. Shit. Oh no. His hands clipping through the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, the joy of custom characters. Yay! <laughs> the right. next case, uh, 10. Yeah, 10 a.m. tomorrow. So that is, is uh, that is the last bit of the story that you have to make. Uh, remember, the helicopter will come at noon tomorrow, so... You have roughly, <laughs> um, hour. yeah, you have two hours, which is uh, ten minutes in real time. <laughs> Man, look at that number just keep going up and up and up. <laughs> How many people is Frank trying to save? Uh, like twenty-ish or so. And there's only one regular-sized helicopter. That's <laughs> yeah. Capacity of don't like six people. Don't question the logic behind it. I've had that <laughs> question. I've had that question many times too. Because <laughs> sure there's only like six seats in that helicopter. Right. <laughs> And uh, I don't remember how many people I've saved in total, but uh, that is clearly more than the more occupancy than, than that helicopter. Yep. Okay. Six not even counting the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, alongside the pilot, five passengers. The pilot, Frank himself, and then Jesse. Okay. Yeah. And then he'll just have to, I guess, take his three favorite survivors. <laughs> uh, definitely the Molotov guy. Molotov guy. How about Cheryl here? Look at that. Mm. It's a lot of pink pee pee. I mean, <laughs> pink pee pee. I don't know how much of the audio that you can hear uh, <laughs> through the Discord. We hear it. We hear it? Cool. This is legit the purpose of the side quest. <laughs> it's just taking lewd photos of Cheryl. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. There's even a funny um Easter egg um freaking uh every time that Frank actually takes a photo uh of a lewd uh erotic every time he takes an erotic photo like his nose starts bleeding. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's like I was like, "Oh man, my head can't take the horniness both of them." Uh <laughs> <laughs> he actually like loses health from it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right. Did you guys enjoy that as much as I? I mean, I I didn't enjoy that. Wait, what do you I mean? Did. No, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, I'm just doing it to fulfill the especially, uh, especially for scientific purposes. For scientific purposes. <laughs> Especially enjoying the uh, copyrighted music that's used in this. <laughs> what copyrighted? Oh man, <laughs> look at Frank's fucking face. <laughs> that is the heaviest nosebleed you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, he 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 was he was having fun. <laughs> I mean, no, he I was all the blood rushes to the face. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> he, he can't contain it. It was purely for scientific purposes. Just yeah, he had so many scientific theories that right. his head just couldn't take it. <laughs> right, it was all for uh, the, the the pursuit of uh, photography and journalism and all that stuff. Yes, journalism. Journalism, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, that's what it's called. <laughs> exactly. Little did you know, Frank worked for Playboy magazine... <laughs> <laughs> well he is freelance isn't he yeah he is so uh, he could oh yeah. boy he could yeah i'm sure they're sketchy enough to contract out to anybody yeah i mean he's covered words you know <laughs> <laughs> Why is he quite intimidating? The sun, <laughs> stand stuff like that. The sunglasses made is like the cherry on top. <laughs> sunglasses under the fucking visor. All he worried about was you in the end. But damn it. He died without telling me a damn thing. <sighs> you know, I thought he was terrorist scum. But... The password's gonna be her name, isn't it? I think. All he really cared about was his sister. Of course. Or something like that. I do remember some sort of familial tie. Here. He wanted you to have this. She remembered it. Did you figure it out? Pachamama. Mother Earth. Our brother said that a lot. Ah. See, I knew it was something familial. Santa Cabeza was blessed with nature. <laughs> and then the government fucked it up. Didn't really mean much when I, uh, he just had to go on a revenge plot. He Not didn't mean it. He just, he, all he did was unleash a zombie apocalypse. 
it's yeah, not yeah, that it's bad. Not that bad. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not that bad. No. Sure, every uh, sure like the U.S. government did a bad here, but uh, that doesn't mean you also do another bad in response to that. Yeah, like at least the zombies on the Pentagon, not a random mall. Like, it, it, like semi seriously, um, freaking like he did it on an innocent, peaceful town, uh, like uh, like the U.S. equivalent to what Santa Cabeza was to them. So he's just showing exactly what what exactly the government did to their little town. And so just doing the same thing back to them. So that's why. He wants to make people suffer just like how he suffered. And he's very intent on making that a harsh reality for everyone. So, yeah. Run the shit on the Pentagon now. Frank, the emergency line's been freed up. I'll give headquarters a call. It's. I'm just saying. His logic was evil. <laughs> this is Agent Jessica McCartney. We have an emergency situation. He wasn't trying to be fair in this whole thing. <laughs> Bloodshed is never fair. <laughs> this is also the part in the game where um, you've pretty much done all the story things. Now you're just waiting for uh, 10 a.m. Uh, yeah. So you'll be hearing the Jeopardy theme a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there are cutscenes and other events uh, to make it more uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> But again, all this other extra stuff after the last story case only happens um, uh, when you get this far into the story. <laughs> HQ's decided to ignore us. Oh. What? What do you mean, ignore us? I contacted headquarters, but the government has decided to deny all knowledge of what happened here. <laughs> Santa Cabeza 2. <laughs> Take everyone out. Zombies, people, everyone. Oh, good thing you got a helicopter coming in two hours. No, it's more than two hours. No, um, twelve hours. No, fourteen mm. hours. Yeah, it's only ten p.m. on the third night. Uh. But yeah, no, just in typical U.S. government fashion, they're going to deny all uh, responsibility of the stuff that's happened here, just like Santa Cabeza. So <laughs> I guess Carlito got what he wanted after all. He's tweaking. But yeah, sure, people may be quote-unquote justified in their uh, motives for what they're doing here, but uh, it's also very evil and very wrong what everyone has done here in this situation. And we're just, our, our character is basically just caught in the crossfire in all this and trying to survive. <laughs> like, we had nothing to do with this. We're just pawns in this this messed up game that we live in totally not a reflection of our reality i mean who said that 